And the news of the day is that the Giants fired Jason Garrett. Yes, that Jason Garrett, former head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, as their offensive coordinator after last night's 30-10 to 10 drubbing Debacle. at the hands of Tampa Bay. And it cost my man Rob some money. I'm, so I, I, that, yeah, that makes it, it even it worse. Did. It yeah. did. It was 10-10 at the half. I was feeling good about my was plus 11. Was it 10-10 or 17-10? 17-10. But, but it I was felt, close. Yeah, it was. A, yeah, yeah, I felt were, like yeah. I felt like if they just had one more touchdown, do you know what I mean? That would have yeah. probably – they needed one more touchdown. They're to, always one more touchdown away yeah. like, <laughs> from, from making it competitive and yes. it, it, it falls apart. But anyway, they fired Jason Garrett. And there were a lot of reports this morning. And, and you could – I don't know if – I mean, I didn't see anything sourced that Garrett was gone. But somebody must – there must have been leaks that, hey, you know, it it looks like Jason Garrett could be in trouble or – because a lot of reports, Rob, a lot of columns said the judge was throwing Jason Garrett under the bus. He didn't really name a name. It was out there, right. Yeah, but it was out there that it was Garrett. There was no other assistant coach's name really out there. So – um, what are your thoughts? I mean, I got mine, but what, what are your thoughts on this situation? This, this is just the beginning, uh, and, and let's just be honest. I mean, the Giants are putrid, horrendous. The Jets and Giants are two of the worst teams. New York, and ha- right, it's embarrassing. It, it's New embarrassing, right, that, that they can't get a, a decent football team uh, in the city, and it's just been a long and, – and, of course, the Giants have won – uh, yeah, they've been a good. They've, they've won th- how many? No three Super Bowls, it. four, right? Four, uh, I believe. Four Super Bowls. Yeah. And the Jets haven't won one since 1969. The so it's Jets been a long are the time. joke. I hate to say right. that. Right. And that and way, they and they've been to the AFC Championship game. We got yeah. all that with Bill Parcells and with Rex yeah. Ryan. But anyway, yeah. my point on the Giants is this: this is like Gettleman. This is like Judge. This is like the whole kit and caboodle, Chris. Seriously, like. They need to clean house and fumigate. Plain and simple, the New York Giants need an enema. That's how bad they are. And Jason Garrett is just a start. I mean, how long is this going to go on? Same thing with Joe Judge. Yes, okay, throw your guy overboard. Some coaches won't do that, Chris, because they all know that ultimately it's going to come back to you. Uh, Last year, Jason Garrett and the Giants offense was 31st. So, so what do you expect this year, really? What? And I think they're twenty fifth now. Is that yeah. where they are? Yep, yep. But but it's not good. And and maybe you don't have the right quarterback. Saquon Barkley's been hurt a lot. Chris been out. I get that. He's far from the guy who had the great rookie year. Where we all agree on that, right? We, I, we don't even mention Saquon Barkley nah, anymore. Look, Saquon Barkley's an afterthought. Let's just right. Be, I mean, why are we even acting like it's a big deal when he when he can play? Right. I mean, seriously. Like, it, 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 and you hit it, though, Rob. Jason Garrett was a symptom of the problem. The guy that hired Jason Garrett yep. is a big part of the problem, and that's Dave Gettleman. Dave Gettleman, has, this is his fourth year. He was supposed to build the offensive line. That's terrible. He, why, what in the world made him think after watching Jason Garrett's run of mediocrity Thank in you. Dallas, what made you say, that's the guy? That's the guy to run our offense. I mean, seriously. And, mate, look, Garrett played for the Giants. He was liked by ownership and all that. So Everybody know, likes him, Chris. Him Everybody yeah. likes him. But that, that's right. not He's what. A, he is a people person, I guess. Yes. I never met him, but he must be. But, yeah, I mean, so Gettleman hired him. Gettleman hired Joe Judge. And, look. I get it. You're, he's thinking Bill Belichick coaching tree. First of all, that tree hasn't been very good. That's just, and, and Mike Vrabel, everybody wants to attach him to the Belichick tree. No, he didn't coach under Belichick. He played for Belichick. Right. He what? There's a big difference, Chris. Who's the other coach in uh, in Tennessee? The same thing. He's not under Belichick's uh, Grable, right? Well, that's Vrabel. Yeah, Mike Vrabel. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Right, right, right. Yeah. Grable, right. That's what. That, right. Vrabel, he didn't yeah. play for Belichick. He, he I well, mean, he Vrabel didn't coach with him. He played right. for him. Right. right. So he's not in the coaching tree, right? But most of, if you look at most of the hot young coaches, Matt Lafleur, Sean McVay, Sean McDermott, guys like that, they were tended to be coordinators, offensive coordinators. 
Joe Judge was a special teams coach. And I get it. New England's special teams were really good. But really? I mean, that what? The, Rob, that's what African Americans are talking about when they say moving the goalpost. Like, this dude's young. What was he, 37? He's got no resume to speak of that right. would make you qualify for a head coach. And he gets the New York Giants job. And, so and that's this, Gettleman. And this is the other thing, Chris, for a long time. You had to be an offensive or defensive yep. coordinator first before you got the job. So that used to keep a lot of black guys from getting those jobs because they were yep. never play callers and they were never DCs, right? So right. then all of a sudden those guys start getting those jobs and guess what? Then all of a sudden that ain't what you need to be head coach. Right. Exactly. They're hiring all these head coaches who have never had those positions. Yep. That's yep. what you're talking about when people say the, the goalposts keep getting moved. Because yep. that used to be your way in. In baseball, it used to be Chris used to be a third base coach. Third base coaches became uh, managers. And then all of a sudden, they started hiring guys who set the bench coach now and not the third base coach. They changed that. So there's yep. always some movement and changing, and it's happened in the NFL. Yep, no, no doubt about it. And, uh, and then drafting Saquon Barkley. You mentioned him. Rob, I- I'm sorry. And, and you know, I've stated it many times on this show, I love the running back position. I actually feel like, maybe I'm wrong, it feels like it's getting a little bit of a renaissance, you know, with Derrick Henry, even though he's hurt, Jonathan Taylor, Nick Chubb, you know, some, it's, it's, it may be a renaissance. But the fact is, Rob, you can't draft a running back the second pick of the draft today. It just doesn't make sense. It, look at the best backs in the league. Derrick wow. Henry, Nick Chubb. Dalvin Cook, all second rounders. And, 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 the, ga- and Taylor, the game has changed. And the game yeah, has changed. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. The, the game, game has changed so much that that was ridiculous to draft him second. Whether, whether he's been hurt or not. And, and then Alvin Kamara, third round pick. So it's just we could go on and on about the mistakes that Gettleman's made. But. That's why, Rob, it, it, it's got to be a house clean. Now, here's what I say about Judge. And, and let me say this I real quick. I hire a GM and let him deal with Judge. Does he want to give him one more year? Does he want his own guy? Usually right. they want their own guy. I, I was going to say, and don't forget, they ran Jerry Reese, who, who yes. was the general manager of the Giants. He was their first black general manager ever. He only won two Super Bowls, Chris. Right. He was GM for 10 seasons. In New York, and they couldn't wait to get rid of him. And look at where look at I where they are. I never thought he got the credit he deserved. No, man. he was the GM then he for won ten two years. Super Bowls. Why yeah. isn't he talked about like the great Jerry? I'm I come here to get another job. I, right? You know, he's only he's only fifty eight, Chris. He's not even old. when he was in New York. You didn't hear a lot about Jerry Reese as far as being great. You didn't. I, I'm and, so, and, and, yeah, and here's the other thing, sense. real quick. I just got his uh, resume, Chris. He wasn't no overnight where they just threw him in the job. He was a giant scout, right? College scout from 94 to 97. The pro scout from 97 to 2004. Then he was the Giants director of player personnel 2004 to 2007. So he worked his way yep. all the way up to yep. that position. Yep, yep. And like you said, the two Super Bowls for the Giants recently – Yep. came under Jerry Reese. I mean, come on. But anyway, so I think Judge Rob yesterday, I think it was a bit of self-preservation going on. I think he sees the handwriting on the wall. Uh, I don't know if it's written in pen or if it's written in pencil. But I think he's like, look, if I'm going down, I'm, and I, I, I do respect this. If I'm going down, I'm going to go down doing like, controlling what I can. So he's like, if he's like, I'm going to get involved with the play calling. And if I can't turn it around and I get fired, so be it. But maybe I can turn it around and, you know, I'll keep my job. I mean, I, I, I'm not mad at that, but I thought he, his press conference yesterday was very pro player. Oh, we got a good roster. I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, it's on the coaches. Well, we haven't well, put them in position. Called. That's trying to save Gettleman's job Ex- by saying Well, that. I think that's trying to go to Gettleman like, hey, right. you, you know, kind of kissing his butt a little. You know, it it's is. not the roster. The roster's not right. And then even when you say, like, it was very pro-fan, too. You heard him. All oh, the fans got – they're not called on to be patient 
We right. they they could they bought their tickets, they paid to boo or do whatever they want. We gotta put out a winner on all that stuff. It's like the fans and the Gettleman, Gettleman he was kind of trying to, you know, placate and pacify. And, no, right, no doubt. Right. Right. So, but you know, I I don't know if it'll save him. And and I'm not saying down the line maybe he could be a decent coach. I don't know. But right now, it looks like there it looks like there could be a house cleaning ride. But what the way I would do it, get a GM and let him make this decision. Now, there's Eric Bieniemy out there, there's Kellen Moore in Dallas out there, and Byron Leftwich out there. I got to admit, there's a lot of good candidates that look a lot more promising than Joe Judge. Right, and just give them an opportunity. Give them their three years, Chris, and let's see. If right. Eric bien gets a job, you give him three years, right? And, oh, yeah. and don't work out. I, I could live with that. I think Eric bien you give me my shot for three years? Can you give me that? Not like they yep. did to Denver. What was the coach up there, the, the black coach in Vance Denver? Vance Joseph, was it? Who got one year. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying even uh, with Judge, I mean, let the GM empower the new GM. If he wants to keep Judge for a year, that would be Judge's third year. You know what I'm saying? You could do that. But 